Mind the fingerprints, it is the project guitar, so I don't mind at the moment. When it's finished, I'll make sure it's all pretty. Here are the horrible, fretty sounds. Can you hear that? It's like really muting it and just... So it's really affecting that string. So it is affecting every string around there. Now down here... Not really a problem, because... From here to here, that neck warp's not affecting anything, because it's a bow. Now, up here... Doesn't sound like it's affecting it, because there's no fret buzz, but... If we go 0, 12, 24, you'll hear that the intonation is off, so all of these should be an E note. Oh, that's... That sounds like an old bell being hit. I'll try that on the other strings and see if any of them demo better how out of tune it is instead of how bad the guitar needs work. Or that. Notice how that's almost, that's like a quarter, quarter tone down. If I bend it, then I can get it to an E. So, being all the way up at 12th, that means the intonation just on this stretch doesn't match the other. So it might not just be a neck warp. I might need to be doing some intonation work using the saddles on the bridge as well. Now that, on any guitar can be a little bit of a pain, but on a Floyd Rose is especially annoying when the adjustments are underneath the strings. Oh well, let's get on and start adjusting the truss rod and get this guitar sounding good. So the first thing I'm going to do is loosen off these strings that are in the middle. Now because these locks are in here, that's not affected the tuning. So I've got loads of room to push these out of the way. Now, for this one, what we need to be doing is tightening it to strengthen. Now we should only adjust a truss rod by around a quarter turn at a time. So the fact that this tool can only go in and turn by about a quarter is a pretty good sign. Now obviously, ideally you do it with the strings off because you don't want to risk damaging them. But let's have a look at how that's done. Now it's hard for me to show this on camera, but I'm going to push down up here. I'm going to push one of the first frets up here and see if there's, there's definitely less space there than there was. But there's enough. I'm going to go for a second turn. I did think it was fairly, fairly out this one. So I'm going to go for another quarter turn. That I could feel it getting a bit more grippy. That looks like that's probably already gonna sound a bit better. Let's find out. Yeah, that's, that's sounding better already. I think another small, like an eighth of a turn. It's gonna be worth it. <laughs> Okay, cool. I think the next stuff is going to now be in the bridge. Let me just double check. I'm going to do that string check. Yeah, there's still a little bit. I'm actually going to go a little bit more, especially knowing that I have to give this tool back. Obviously, I'd normally do adjustments as and when it felt like they were needed. And I would have been like, ah, it's better and allow it to keep getting better instead of being perfect. Now that I've got the truss rod working, I'm going to have a look at setting some stuff up with the bridge. So we've now got a guitar with a straight neck, which is a good sign. The action is super, super low, and... We're still getting a bit of noise. Now, there's a few things that can cause this. One, we could have some slightly high frets down this end. Now, if you look, I don't know how well you can tell, actually. On here, we've got some pretty good filed down frets but then we've got some pretty big ones here at the end. Which should be a good sign because it looks like the wear is due to the age of the neck and how long it's been played. And the fact that there's not much wear here means the strings aren't catching the higher frets that aren't played as much. So. So pretty, pretty good progress so far. 
but the action's that low. Although I like a low action for speed, I'm going to bring it up just a little bit, and then I'm going to have a look at setting the action. Now, being a Floyd Rose, this is where things get really tricky, because as soon as I lift the action, it's all going to be out of tune. Then I'm going to try and adjust things, it will still be out of tune. Then I'll tune it up, and it will change the balance point of the bridge. So this is a massive game of do one bit, fix the result. Do one bit, fix the result. So I am going to have to unlock here, but there's no need to restring still, so I won't be checking much on these. I could have another go. I could take those out with those loose, see if the G-string settled in, because that was the one that was off. Um, yeah. Let's get on with raising the action. So with the Floyd Rose, this is actually relatively simple. All I need to do is get the right size Allen key to go into these. Uh, these are the bridge nuts. Um, I'm sure there's a... Whoop. Don't do that to your guitar. Don't want metal bouncing off the paintwork. Um, what we're going to do is loosen these so the bolts come out. That will lift the bridge up. Now... I don't know if you heard that slightly lower in pitch. Let's uh, do this one with the volume up. Real subtle change there. So we're still getting a little bit of fuzz on that one string. Um, I don't think the action's that high yet, so I'm going to raise it a little bit more. There are obviously other techniques we can do to help fix fix fret bras. There's lots of different bits and bobs. This is this is almost the lazy version. This is the easy one. But you can get it to a stage where the action's too high. You know what, this action's actually still super low, I want it higher. So this isn't just for getting rid of some of that buzz, I actually want that higher for a nicer playability. Um, not going super, super high at all. We're not talking uh, over the pickups of a Les Paul. That feels a bit better. And you know what, I still might go a little bit higher. That feels a little bit more natural to play now. It feels like it's still a really low action compared to a lot of standard like strats and tellies and things. We've got quite, but high enough I feel like I'm actually playing. Like the strings before were so close, I felt like I didn't even need to push them down. Nice, okay. So I'm really happy with this now. Now, by raising that action, I'm sure I've put it out of tune, so I'm going to have to redo all that Floyd Rose tuny stuff, which, like I said, on the Guitar Ninja Academy, there's a lesson on setting up a Floyd Rose from zero strings, nothing on the guitar. Um, and again, I may post that on YouTube if I get enough requests. So there we go. That is this one set up a bit better. I'm going to check the tuning and then give it a play. The guitar is now in tune, and obviously I've now put it on a more high gain, because that's what it is. We want clean to check that the notes are doing what we want them to do when we're testing it, but for playing, we've got to treat a Jackson like a Jackson, right? Good old pentatonic. intonation bits to touch on, but it's in far better condition than it was at the beginning of this video. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one soon guys. Bye.